Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. So I've already filled in my brows and now I'm just using my soft ochre paint pot by MAC and I'm just using that to clean up under the brow. And I already have a brow tutorial up on my channel so that's why I didn't really spend too much time on it. But if you guys want me to do an updated one, please leave it in the comment section and I'll make sure because I'm doing a few things a little bit different. So now I'm just using my fingers and sometimes your fingers can be your best tool. So I'm just using that to press the soft ochre paint pot on my eyelids and just gently blend it out. And I'm also using this under the bottom of my eye as well as I will be putting, I will be putting eyeshadow there too. Now just to make sure that the base doesn't move, I'm using this translucent powder from e.l.f. and I'm just pressing that in to set everything in place. Now I'm using my first shadow, MS39, and I'm just using that as my transition shade and I'm slowly going to intensify that color. So I'm just going with a smaller brush with the same shade and just really, just really cut the crease. Then I'm going in with MS40 and these shadows are from Stila or Friends Beauty and I'll link everything below. In a black from my Take Me To Brazil palette because that's the only black I have right now. So I'm just really placing that on the outer corner of my eye and just really deepen the crease. And as you guys know already, whatever shadow that you put on the top, I'm also putting that on the bottom and just sandwiching the shadows to make sure that everything is blended nicely. Now I'm taking Nylon from MAC and I'm using it as my brow highlight and my inner tear duct highlight. In with my concealer from MAC. I think this is the N40, I'm not really sure, but I'll list everything as I said below. And I'm just carving out a cut crease and then I'm going into the Morphe 305S palette and I'm just using the darkest shade there as close to black as I can find. And then, then I'm just using that to go over the crease that we cut. And then putting down my medium mix also by MAC and go it in with my glitter. And these glitter are the same glitters I've been using, which I purchased from eBay. And I'm just putting that all over and really intensify the glitter. So I go over it, I think like twice to really get the pigment that I want to come up. Then I'm gonna put on my lashes and my mascara, and then we're gonna move into the face. So for my face, I'm taking the Nivea Men's Aftershave. I'm using that as my all over primer. Then I'm going in with my e.l.f. Poreless primer, I'm just gonna use that in the middle section of my face. My foundation, I'm actually mixing the e.l.f. Um, foundation that I recently purchased and I'm mixing it with my BB cream and I'm just going to blend that out all over my face. Then I'm gonna go in to do some spot correcting with my LA Girl color corrector which is the orange one that I use and I like to do it now after I put on the first layer of foundation because then it's not too much to conceal. I just do spot correcting and that saves you know some time there and then I'm gonna go over it with another layer of foundation. Now going in with my concealer, again I'm using the MAC concealer and I mix it with a little bit of the yellow corrector just to give me a really bright under eye um, look and then I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blend. Now 
Now to set the highlighted areas of my face, I'm using the e.l.f. translucent powder in yellow. And for my contour, I won't be cream contouring, but I'll be using the CoverGirl Queen Collection in ebony for my contour. Now for my blush, I'm using another Stila eyeshadow, which is MS49. And my highlighter is from Davina Cosmetics. It's my first time using their colored highlighters. And I mixed two together, and I was really scared at first, but I really like how it came together. And I know it's a very bold look. The lip, I use a liquid lipstick from AliExpress. And everything just kind of came together for me. And I threw on my leather jacket, some jewelry, and just pulled the whole look together. I would love to know what you guys thought of this. I actually really enjoyed it and it was really fun and you know something different to try you know sometimes you want to step out your comfort zone so hope you guys will try to recreate the look and if so please let me know I'd really appreciate it and again thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you next time. Love you for watching.